Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe here at Fino Boxing, like this video, and leave your comments down below. And follow us at all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing, and my personal one is at Adriana underscore sports. Yep. Trevor, now, now you're 16 and 0, 12 KOs, moving up in 154 division. Last time out, you won in Mugia. Is that still the plan? Go after the big dudes at 154? Um, you know, I really wanted Mugia for that 54 title belt, but I mean, if he's willing to come down back to 154 to fight me, hey man, I want you all the way 100%, 110% at that. But if he's moving up to, you know, better his career, then hey, that's okay with him. I'm not gonna, you know, stop him for better his career because we both trying to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But if there's an opportunity for me to get that 154 title, I'm here. I'm not leaving until I get that belt at 154. Yeah. Who, right now, who do you think is the top dog at 154? How does he have Jamal Charlo who's contesting and Tony Harrison? Tony and Harrison. Then, you know, Jerry Rock I, and two I, titles. And I love both of the fighters. Both of the fighters, are they are amazing, man. They are, they are the top two best 54 pounders in the world. I definitely want both of them. I would love to get both of them. I know there's some hard hitters. They can get it, you know what I'm saying? Um, they can they can punch, they got the power, they got the skills, you know what I'm saying? But I'm willing to fight each and every one of them to get that title. My dream is to get that title. I don't care if it's a WBC, I don't care if it's a WBO, I don't care if it's an IBF. If it's a world title, I'm fighting for it. I want that, and that's all I want, and I want that title, man. What do you have to do to, you know, kind of demand those fights? Obviously, you're 16 and 0, moving up on the ranks. So you think you have to take on those top 10 level guys before you can get a crack at a world title? All right. Yeah. You. You. Uh, obviously, you're supposed to take down the ones that's in front of you to get to that that first spot. But me, I'm not. I'm not here to bash anybody or to try to beat anybody up. I just want that opportunity. You know. Look, hey, look. You know what I'm saying? It's my dream to get a world title. If I get a world title, hey, look, I got it, and you know what I'm saying we can work on from there. But other than that, um, they're, they're hellacious fighters, you know what I'm saying? I'm not scared of them, I'm not scared of nobody. But I'm here to give you the hardest fight of your life. And once you give that, once you give me that, and I always show you the honest and truly respect for that. But I'm here, I am definitely here to get that 54 title. 154 has had actually a lot of names. There's Lonnie Laura, Laura, so, Laura man. Shroud. Uh, Koto at 154, all Canelo, them. all of them. What do you need to do to get up there and actually make a name for yourself? Um, you know, work hard in the gym, man. I mean, you can't get too much work in the gym. There's never, there's no meaning of too much work. If you get that work, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. I mean, I don't, I don't like to be at the gym. You know what I'm saying? I love food. I tell you that, but I don't like to be at the gym because if you're at the gym, that's gonna make you, you know they're probably doing something that you're not doing, you know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure I'm doing, I'm in the gym more than they are, you know what I'm saying? To, to get my my place back at, you know, up top. So there's a lot of things that we, you know, I still have to work on, you know, I'm not perfect, but tonight with the performance that I pulled off, I wanted to show the world that, hey, I don't have to knock nobody out to show you that I can whoop your ass. What do you think of uh, Brian Castaño, former WBA Super Welterweight Champion? Say that again? Brian Castaño, the former Super I don't even know who that is. is. That's how I know I can whoop him. <laughs> he fought his Andy Lara to a throw uh, earlier this year. Hey, Lara is one of the top 54 pounders in the world. When he fought Canelo, I think he beat Canelo. I really do think he beat him, but I'm a very big fan of Canelo, so I, I know that Canelo got the power and the heart to beat someone. Yeah, what, so did I, you, what did you make of uh, his performance against Kovalev? Say again? What, what did you make of Canelo's performance? Uh, it was a really good Kovalev, fight. Then? You know what I'm saying? I can't lie about that. That was a really good fight. I don't know if there was any claws or anything um, with that, but I know that, you know what I'm saying, Canelo did his thing. He showed the world that, you know, I can move it to any way to stop anyone. You know what I'm saying? And he did that. He showed his word. He had a word, and he showed it. So guess what? He came out with the victory. So I believe that that man is the top pound for pound fighter in the world besides Lomachenko. Well, were you surprised uh, this guy stood in there the, the whole time? You were catching with some clean shots. Hell yeah, dude. That, no. <laughs> that man right there is strong. That man right there has some heart. He, he is a dog. I have never fought someone that that hard. You gave him like, a, a props at the end of the night after. I had to give that man props. I mean, come on. There was times in the fight where I thought that man, dude, you're supposed to go you down already, down. bro. You're <laughs> supposed to be down. But at the same time, man, I love Mexico. The people from Mexico just, they got that dog. Like, man, you never stop me, dude. Viva la Mexico, man. You know what I'm saying? I love Mexico. You know, I love them so much, dude, because they're so cool. They know how to party. And they know how to fight, you know what I'm saying? Wow. I love them, dude. I want, I want that fan base. So me and my team has definitely been 
praying on that and, and working on, you know, to bring on our Mexican fans. I'm, I'm not, I don't discriminate against nobody. I love my Mexicans. Half of my family in Texas is Hispanic. No one knows that. So I know that, you know, my, my, I, I love my Mexicans, man. We, we, we got to come together, you know what I'm saying? Even though I got to beat them up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got to come together, and I love them so much, man. They're really awesome. All right, thanks, man. Thank Appreciate you so it. much, man. You guys have a great Congrats night. Congrats on the win. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe here at Fino Boxing. Like this video and leave your comments down below. And follow us at all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. And my personal one is at Adriana underscore sports.